Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, viewers. Welcome to the next installment of the Youth Academy Challenge Save of Whitby Town. Uh, it is the best day of the year. It is Youth Intake Day, and we have a special guest. Say hi. Hi. Hello. <laughs> it's my girlfriend. She's back. Some of you guys have been asking in the comments uh, where she was, and she's back today. Um, and yeah, we actually have a quite an, uh, exciting Youth Intake. As we upgrade our facilities, we have a new Head of Youth Development, and it's an excellent intake. Uh, things to look out for are good defenders because we got do we struggle at centre back. So we'll start off at the bottom, we'll work our way up. The worst out of all of them, Amari Bolland. An ambitious, decently pacey, very smelly. Yeah. yeah. Not much to say about Amari there. Marcus Reed, an American. Can't shoot. Ironic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, can't run. Okay, determination. Yeah, Thomas Wilson. I mean, we get a stupid amount of wingers, and I, and I really don't like it. Uh, Determination 14, that's good. Realist, I don't know if that's a good personality. Let us know if he's a good personality. Tom Wilson. Mm. I, I think that sums it up. It's that, that noise, that sound effect. Dale Cook on the opposite uh, side of the pitch. Low Determination. Dale Cook. 12 Technique. Just another one of the wingers that comes through the academy that just never, unfortunately, amounts to anything. Um, I guess we're going to random order. We'll save Nicky. I think he's the best. Oh, Joe Hogan is good. John Hogan, sorry. Okay. Oh, then we have a Polish player. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, what were we? Tom Wilson, Dale Cook, Colin Harris. Do we look at Colin Harris? No. Okay, Colin Harris, right back. 10 tackling, that's good. Some positions okay, marking. Out 5 for 8 is not terrible. 9 jump and reach. Okay, we, we usually get smelly like wing backs. We have a very small back line and we get molested in the air. So it's important to look for good jumping reach. Um, but he's actually decently well rounded. I, I think he's actually pretty okay. What do you think? He marks opponents tightly. He does. Well done, good spot. <laughs> <laughs> he does smell. He has 7 markings, so I don't know how. How tight he can mark them, but yeah, maybe if he grows in his, his marking. Uh, Colin Harris, uh, we'll leave Nicky for later. Uh, Liam Kelly, one of your countrymen, <laughs> an Irish fullback. <laughs> Five foot ten. Well, everyone's gonna get a contract. He'll he'll get some time in academy. He's actually, if he was a bit taller, I, I wouldn't mind playing centre back. Some positioning, ten tackling, eight marking, seven heading. V mentally. 10 flair, 10 determination, concentration, bravery, anticipate. He's, he's there, he, yeah. yeah, he's there. <laughs> he's definitely there in the head, unlike <laughs> someone else we know who's also Irish. I mean, that's, he's, he's good. I like him. Uh, he's a bit slow for fullback, but I can see him definitely transitioning into a, a CDM, a Segunda Volante in our team. Um, <laughs> you know that is, right? Yeah, you love Segunda Volantes. Um, okay, next, a striker who can play cam, so we're expecting good passing. Richard Lee. Lee, fun fact, was coming surname in the world, so there you go. Mm, okay. He's good. Mm, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. He can, no, shoot okay. from, he can shoot from distance, got a good first touch. Sure. Got technique, he can do a Rabona cross, little step overs. Bit blind, not great, but maybe... Uh, Maybe a deep line forward, but he's a bit weak. Uh, he's a strange one. I, really, I don't really know where he could play. Maybe he could develop into a decent striker. Uh, one to look out for Richard Lee. Uh, next is Kevin Broadley. Okay, okay, okay. Thirdly determined, that's good. Plays shorts and passes, seven passes, a bit bad. Four visions, a bit bad. Pace is below average. Inside forward stats are okay. Another just another average winger. But he's determined, so maybe. 6 1, that's actually good. I like tall wingers. Because they beat the opposition fullbacks better. Uh, this is broadly. Yeah, Hogan will leave until the end because he's playing the best. Jack. Jock. Jock. Sorry, that's a. Jock. Jock. That's an interesting name. Jock Render. Mm, another one of them ones. Just. Nothing, not great physicals. No, unfortunately not. Unambitious as well, so probably... Yeah, we'll see what happens with Jock. He has an interesting name, at the very least. He caught our attention in that sense. Um, 
Who's, who's, who's next? Yuba. Yuba Diara, a Frenchman. We don't like the French. Uh, <laughs> but as Frenchmen go, he's not bad. 12 team. He's got good vision. Okay, passing. Good technicals. I could see your. You, Yuba? Yuba? Yuba Diarrhea getting into the, the, the main team eventually. 50, no, he's 16 French. Okay. I, I like Yuba. Yuba Diarrhea might be an interesting player in the future. Next. Ben Abraham, born in midfielder, we'll see. Mm. Unambitious. He's got 10 finishing. He's more of a cam than a ball winning midfielder. Mm. Poor awesome. vision. Good work, right? Yeah, he works hard. We'll get up and down the pitch. Will. Uh, maybe he is a Signal Valente. If we get his pace up, to, you know, they, that Signal Valente just run up and down the pitch, basically. Like box of boxes, but just more attacking. DMs. Reasonable left for a young midfielder. You're a young midfielder, aren't you? Yes. What position do you play? Yeah. You're an eight. Okay. Okay. There you go. Fun trivia to, <laughs> to get to know her better. She plays number eight in the midfield. Next, deny Tefral Skies. We've got Tori in our team. Therifal, uh goalkeeper. Six foot. Positioning nine. That's good. Decisions makes the right well no, sometimes. Vision. We have a blind goalkeeper. He's only, we probably like edit a patch eye on him because he's only got one eye. Uh, ten reflexes, rushing outs, okay. Physically okay. Handling, he can handle balls well. Mm -hmm. ah! <laughs> <laughs> okay, he's 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 well rounded. We'll see if anything comes of him. Unambitious is a bit annoying. You don't like him. Well, why? Why don't you like or deny? Six for. Bit small, small, small for a goalkeeper. Yeah, yeah we have a curse at uh, Whitby that we only produce small men in our team. Next, a Polish player. For those who know, I'm Polish, so this man will be playing all our games, so let's hope he's good. Wow! Wow! <laughs> he's so amazing! Oh my god! Okay, striker. Say his name. Jacek Zayer. Okay, so, I mean, it doesn't translate to anything cool, but Jacek, I think, means Jack in English, so Jack Zayer. Uh, teamwork off the ball. Harley, look how good he is. <laughs> Six foot four. Okay, we have a big man who was determined. He can play striker and left wing. Uh, if we get his pace up, ten pace, eight extra. No, oh. Full strength. Okay. Right, six foot four. <laughs> Okay, he weighs 73 kg, okay, he's a bit he's a bit skinny, he's only 16, let him develop, he'll be a muscly man, I promise. But, if we get his composure up, okay, free finishing for strike, oh, okay, <laughs> yeah, it's like, come on, man, <laughs> you're letting us down. Um, positioning two, that's a bit, oh, okay, he's a, he does, that's only for defensive stuff. Flair 11, see, we've got some flair in the Polish national team. <laughs> I think Jacek has potential, because he's got good personality. He is a big man. Uh, we I like big strikers, although he might be. Mm, finish. He can't finish. That's, he's not finished. He's only twenty-eight. Oh. Okay, yeah, it's like okay. I'm mm. um, now Patrick Amid Amidu. Amidu, yeah. Amidu. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Um. Um. He was probably pretty good at musical statues because he doesn't move very well. Uh, temperamental and angry Oliver Kahn as goalkeeper, but he he can't. He's got good reflexes. If you throw something at him, he might catch it. But okay, we'll see how Patrick and Madu does. Now for the big boys in the teams, Nicky Ellis. He's a centre back. Lily. Oh, Lillis. Sorry, I thought I said Ellis. Thinking of uh, something else. Nicky Lillis, two and a half star centre back. Please. Please, please, five for ten. Oh. Oh, 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 wait. Fourteen tackling, nine positioning, nine marking, ten heading, and twelve jumping reach. He's like a resolute personality. He's amazing. That's like one of the best ones you can have. Yeah. Um, six contamination. Okay. He's 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 averagely angry. He's got good anticipation. He's 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 a bit of a pussy old with five bravery. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's all right. Okay, I think Nikki Lillis. I like him. He could be. Uh, he might be straight. Straight go straight to the team. If I could get my words out, I think. Yeah. What do you think of Nikki? He's good. I mean, 
can't find any weaknesses. Oh, it's four strength is not great. But... <laughs> a centre bag, actually. Yeah. I, I even actually see that, actually. Four strength is actually pretty poor. But uh, maybe maybe a DM then? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. I think even with full strength, he's one of our best players, which shows you how bad the team is. And who did we leave till the end? Is it John Hogan, right? He's the yeah. last one. A Hulk, a Hulkamaniac. Hulk 50,000 fans of Hulk at WrestleMania, brother. John Hogan. Can it be Hulk Hogan? He's meant to be a centre back at 5 foot 9. I don't think he's going to be making an appearance at centre back, but. See, he's an, uh, he's an annoying mix. Where he's too small to be a centre back with not enough jumping reach. With. He's not even got great defensive stats. You can play wing uh, like a wing back, but he's too slow. Uh. Yeah. Composure, concentration. Enthusiastic. He is, he's very, yeah, yeah, he's enthusiastic. That's <laughs> one flair. Okay, so he's a no nonsense uh, type that. player. I mean, he's not going to be a. I don't know, I don't know where to play him. Uh, if you guys know what to do with John Hogan, our first Hulk, uh, Hulkamaniac, uh, let me know, because I'm struggling. Maybe, maybe in midfield. Maybe he's decently technically gifted, so maybe that's enough. Um, he's 15, so he's got a lot of time in the Youth Academy to develop. And I think that's everyone. So before you click off, because a lot of people stay here for the Youth Academy, I see, I can see the video retention, how long people stay. Before you leave, do leave a like, do subscribe, make sure you come back for the next Youth Intake, because you guys like uh, seeing who we get. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you in the season review uh, shortly. Uh, any last words? Subscribe. Subscribe, thank <laughs> you very much. Okay guys, Bye. see you in the uh, season review section. And now, ooh, just slap my microphone. And now for the <laughs> end of season review of, of the 27-28 season at Whitby Town, um, we will look at the outgoing developments, how the youth team has done, best performing players, rookie of the season, uh, and if uh, facility improvements or maybe staff if we have time. Uh, so I don't like the screen to show you who's going out and all that stuff. So I'll, I'll let you. We'll have a proper look at the proper nice screen. We finished 18th in the league. 1,350 people have turned up on average 33% of attendance, which is a bit annoying. I mean, I understand we are just currently bottom of the table uh, fighting against relegation, but we've consistently been doing okay, finishing with, fi I think, 50 points pretty much guarantees you safety in the league, which is, that's always our aim, is to survive, improve, and develop. Recently, by the, by the quality of actually our most recent intake, you can see that we have actually improved our staff, our facilities, and just we are getting better players, and that really excites me. And maybe one day, I reckon three seasons time, we should be looking to be playoff contenders. But Leo Lloyd, rookie of the season, in my opinion, has scored 19 goals. He's top, top goal scorer, as you can see at the bottom left. The board thinks we have done an above average job with a B minus rating. Um, which I think is a bit harsh as we are still predicted to be bottom of the league every single season. Biggest win is a humble 3-0 against Ebbsfleet. Um, yeah, not much to say. Rather, like, it's just, you usually get like, you know, 6-7-0s, but not this season. Match to remember 3-0, we don't know why it's a match to remember, but we did be beat Carlisle 3-0 as well. And, um, goal of the season is Jaquin Lasumba, 45th minute free kick. Let's have a quick look. I clicked on the wrong thing. Apologies. Uh, 45th minute free kick. If it loads nice. I actually don't remember this one, so it'll be nice to see it again. Um, how good was this free kick? Uh, as, as free kicks go, that was actually quite nice. Good whippage on it. Good distance. Fair enough. We have only, I think every single season has been a free kick from Jacqueline Lassonbo since he's come from the academy. I actually don't know what his free kick taking is. Uh, we'll have a look later because we can't click on his name from the screen for some reason. Let's have a look at the finances. Our reputation has stayed the same. Our finance sponsorship money has actually gone up, which is nice to see doubled nearly. Um, but everything else has dropped off mainly because our cup runs weren't anything special. We have made £24 of <laughs> foreign sales. So I guess maybe who was the like, most famous foreign player? Maybe we had... Uh, uh, a sale in the Granada with, with Green going out uh, on loan. Uh, this has been a starting lineup. We are still continuing the 4 2 3 1, but I did get the message um, that um, 
are tactics. I'm, I'm unwilling to experiment with tactics. So I think we're going to try a different shape. My friend has asked me to. He loves making um, tactics and like seeing how he can exploit the game. And he's asked me to to try out a tactic um, next season with with our players to see if it works in the lower leagues with a bit like worse players. It is a counter attacking style of football, which is what we're trying to do because we can't really hold the ball and just like destroy teams with nice passes. We really have to just like we rely on them making mistakes and trying to cause mistakes um through pressing them and counter-attacking we have no manager awards which is a bit unfair as i think kieran oggy in my humble opinion is doing uh, a great uh yeah it's a great thing that he's doing at whitby with uh, their main predictors to finish bottom of every single season by like 350 to one odds and he manages to make them survive he's kind of a bit like sam allardyce and um and the other Sean Dyche, like relegation specialists, they're well, we're avoiding relegation specialists. But anyways, we'll, we'll maybe one day we'll see some manager awards there, club awards, Bams player of the season. We can only assume that Morgan Bacon got it last year again, so I think that makes it three or four consecutive uh, seasons where Morgan Bacon's player of the season. Younger this season actually Josh Brazil, and um, that was actually quite a nice surprise. Uh, we'll look for all the players uh, at the same time to not just like convolute and chop and change. But Josh Brazil, young player of the season. Uh, top goal scorer Leo Loy, 22 goals. Very pleased with him. Definitely rookie of the season. Had a breakout season. I um, think he turned 18 in January. I think I gave him three starts in December before he turned 18. And he, this is like from December onwards, he's got 22 goals, which is nothing to scoff at, really. <laughs> oh, apologies. Hopefully you couldn't hear that. I tried to move away from the microphone. Nasty sneeze. Um, most assists. Charlie Mitchell, six assists. We don't really have like anyone like breaking crazy records with ass assists, uh, but six is respectable from left back as well. Uh, he's got ten crossing, so I can see why. Another match is Morgan Bacon, as you can probably assume. Highest average rating though. I mean, <laughs> Josh Brazil of six point eight is because he wins the headers, uh, and you see why. And then record breakers, Leo Lloyd. I think he's joint like these most goals. Uh, I'll join with Jermaine Tansy 3. Morgan Bacon most appearances at 240. I, I probably will be broken in the future as we probably will have a player. I don't know which one yet. And I'll probably play over 240. Uh, mostly goals by a player Jermaine Tansy. 73 goals. Um, so he's a new top goal scorer for the club. Like in, in, in the history of the club. But probably not in real life. But in our save at least. It is Jermaine Tansy. And he probably will extend his um, goal tally in the future hopefully oldest player Jack McCourt 32 years old oldest goal scorer also Jack McCourt um, and that's I think it yeah we had a great season to survive yada 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 this is nonsense and yeah our best starting 11 for those who are wondering uh, Adley I hate him so much my god do I hate playing him mainly for jumping reach and his, his defensive positioning and awareness it says he's good Oh, but this guy stinks, brother. He stinks so bad. But so he's currently out of team, but he's 30 years old. Maybe he'll, he'll retire the club. And well, he's unambitious, so I don't even know if I want him to retire the club and make him a coach. But we can't. I don't know why. It's impossible to sign youth coaches, so maybe someone like Adley could become one. But an unambitious personality, kind of, I didn't realize, is a bit off putting that he has that. But a rotational option at fullback, we won't cry about. And I mean, I don't know how Jack Price makes into a team. <laughs> Uh, but that's that uh, and yeah that's the season review we likely got to see it this season I don't know why last season we didn't um, this is a tactic for anyone wondering uh, also a fun piece of information I, I wrote down so I didn't forget this time I think we are under 18s uh, have won the league I think again I think they won it back to back oh, I think they won the league last season as well um, can't, I don't know how to check what they won last year, but that's pretty good now. Is there, uh, like, a, their trophies for the under-18s? Pretty sure I'll check before I press record, but if there is a way to check, I'd love to... Maybe there is, like, a youth cabinet for the under-18s, or maybe it's even a club info? No, I wouldn't be here, but... Yeah, the under-18s did win the league, and I think they won it last season as well. I don't know if there's actually promotions involved, or if it's just, like, depending on what level we play at. Uh, but yeah, the under-18s have won it, and I'm very pleased uh, with their performances. Some of the younger players are still here. Barnes has been moved down to the under-18s. He's getting released. And 
So as Mikhail also getting released, moved down to under 18s. Um, they're okay playing no Dunbarns isn't. Mikhail has been very hot and cold. Where his goal scoring ratio, you'd say, is not bad, but he's very like hot and cold. Really, he will go on like 15 runs, like a 15 game run without scoring a goal, and then he'll score three back to back hat tricks. So it's like I don't know. I'd rather give the game time to a younger player and help them develop, and they'll probably end up better than Mikhail in the end. He's not like got exceptional pace or physicality with two strength. Yeah, yeah. There's better players out there. And Leo Lloyd has proved it by scoring uh, 22 in his first season, and he's only developing and getting better. And he will be better than McKay in the end. So I'm happy to let him go. Uh, I am setting him for released. Bye bye. Uh, and then yeah, we move up the 18 year olds up to the main squad, and then we'll see who want to keep, who want to release. Real quick transfers. Uh, up next. Transfer history, who has gone out? So, Justin Green. Oh, yeah, he, he didn't go to Granada. He went to Antigua and Barbuda, my bad. Uh, but we probably made some sales. He has actually improved, which is nice to see. Um, his progress has gone up. He doesn't look too terrible, like, defensively. Nine marking, eight tackling, six positioning, which is, again, concerning. But for this level, it's not bad. His potential and current ability is making me concerned. I'm thinking maybe learning out again and again. Maybe just one of them ones where you just keep learning them out. Maybe try to get a fee at one stage um but that's justin green sorry i keep sniffing let me get a sec sorry about the cut uh, i don't know i'm feeling a bit under the weather so if the energy is a bit off in today's video that's probably the reason why and i had such a sneeze and blow my nose i don't know why it keeps running as soon as i sit sit down to record all my body wants to make all the noises and and all the disruptions but hopefully we can get through without any more cuts so keegan casey was next he went up out on loan to his home country of new zealand he's also actually developed which is nice to see that there's been some progress he looks okay he looks decently well-rounded where he's got decent stats over here. concentration is a bit of a concern first touch again it's like i don't know what we do with him i think another one forced the potential maybe just keep loading him out get like get him first team football because he won't get it here maybe he can develop sell him on for a fee or even get a loan fee on stage for him but yeah, Keegan will be around the club, just getting loaned out. Connor Scullion, he's an Irish player out on loan in Ireland. Uh, another one where he wouldn't get any game time here. He has actually improved due to playing in Ireland. 34 performances, uh, appearances for Workington, which is nice to see, and he has developed. And again, next season he'll be out, although he did get injured. Uh, but luckily it's just a, a minor. Oh, he's at near the end of two major, actually, injuries. Well, one happened two years ago, but... He had a hernia and he's near the end of it. He's got good potential, so I'm hoping to see him develop and maybe sell him on to one of the big Irish clubs uh, for, for uh, uh, so any fee. Neil McKinney got released. Uh, yeah, it's just his technicals are one of the worst things I've ever seen in my life. And I don't think we should spend resources trying to develop him when we have players of equally as good physicals uh, and mentals and better technicals to begin with. And he, uh, he actually did get picked up by a club in Scotland, the lower league, so I'm happy for him to see him actually, you know, a player from our academy making appearances elsewhere is nice to see. He had a good personality, but it was just never going to work out for, for for us and McKinley, so 35 performance uh, appearances for us and 5 goals. We are grateful, but we, we wish him the best, Neil McKinley, from our youth academy. And uh, is that everyone? Or oh, is there another case? We got... Oh yeah, Keegan Casey went out on loan twice because one of them was a half a season loan, and then yeah, he just he went on to out on two loans for some reason. Do we have any release players? Scott say he has a con click on him. That means he has retired the goalkeeper after released him and decided to hang up his boots. Uh, so that's Scott say we. I think we went through all these players. Actually, some of them have Colby is hoping to get a contract somewhere. He has been actually picked up by Geisley, which is funny to see as he um. Went to Geisley, which is pretty. I think the other big content creator that does the same. Well, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not a big content creator, but a, a big content creator called Culture Left Foot actually does a, a youth academy save with Geisley. So that's actually nice to see that he has gone somewhere like that. Um, I think those are all the outs, and it's going to be more next season. Um, yeah, we're just going to constantly get. You know, we we offer everyone an opportunity um, to develop and you know give them the best chance of becoming a professional or semi-professional footballer but sometimes they're they're not going to make it to our first team when they get released and yeah 
everyone gets a chance, but there's going to be a lot of releases next season. And even like players that we've seen in the first team at some stage, Gordon's going, and and a, and a lot of like Mikhail and all them lot are going now. Real quick to go through um, our squad and see who has performed how. McCourt has been a rotation option. Those are stats. This is how he looks currently. For those interested, you can pause on these players as I don't want to sit here for like half an hour just on the season review alone looking for the players. But this is Jack McCourt or Yak. Sorry, I don't know how to keep calling him Jack. But he's here. Hopefully, he retires here and becomes a. A youth coach. That's the plan, and uh, yeah, he's still he's still good enough to get into the team, really, as a rotation option. Charlie Mitchell, obviously our top assister, current fullback, uh, starting left back. Very pleased with him, and he'll probably be here for the foreseeable future. As mm, actually, no, he's got good potential. He'll probably be here for a while, although he has massively dropped off, mainly because he's got a couple in. Well, he's got one injury, and then we also. Got obviously our Nigerian Rota Carlos has been challenging for his game time, so he's been rotated more often. Joseph Moore is one one of them as well. I will try to sell him. I thought I could get him out on loan, but if they're English, they're probably they're no one in the lower leagues of England really loans them as we are the lower league. Um, so Joseph Moore will will try to sell him. He actually does have a contract expires next next season, and we don't have an under twenty ones where he would ideally be playing. Um, but yeah, I, I thought he might be a rotation option if Mitchell gets injured or suspended. He has played three times in five years. Uh, he's one to get rid of. David O'Brien has actually... he I don't know. I, I like the idea of him. He When I play him, he does score or has good performances. Although this season, not so much. 12 appearances, one goal, four assists. There are player, better players in this position. And he's another one that I would love to get out on loan. But no one wants to pick him up, unfortunately. So uh, I don't know what to do with him. He has a long contract, so we'll push out, for, push for a loan. If not, he'll just be uh, emergency option. Jack Price, one player that probably we could get rid of. He has a contract till 2030 uh, for another two years. Maybe we'll keep him. He's near the end of 2070. He's in his prime. Maybe we try get like sell him. He might be a bit upset with his game time as there are players coming through now that I would rather see them develop and give them the chance. But he's actually on paper pretty good with good termination and maybe if he retires we'll keep him as a coach as to be one of that them core players who started here. Carlos Alberto Robles hasn't moved up, has actually played a couple appearances made a lot of appearances actually this season. I thought they'll be my starting centre back. Luckily we got one who's better so I'm thinking maybe even push him out on out of right back. Uh, because Ellie, he, we don't have a great right back. Although, actually, I, I have I have addressed the right situation. We'll get to him eventually. Uh, but yeah, Robles, I think more of a rotation option. 19 years old. We might even try to give him a loan out to Mexico if we had a, a lot of centre backs. I'm not. Sure, I can't even remember. But he's not been terrible. Um, yeah, let's call. I, I like his name. I like what he does. And yeah, we'll see. Robert Scullion, we have gone over him in the loan. Stevie White, our gay footballer, 29 years old. He has been an uh, emergency backup, really. There was injury suspension, no one else available. Coming off the bench, uh, he is, he's been there doing his, his thing. Four goals, six assists. We can't complain. Still physically good, 29 years old. He'll probably retire here. Fairly professional, that's a good personality. I'm happy to make him a youth coach eventually. Wilfred Williams, obviously one of our favourites from, was it the first academy? 24, no, so the second season. 100 appearances uh, for the club. Uh, good progress has been made this season. Not good enough, really. He's been improving. That's what he looks currently playing a DM. We have been utilising Sukuna Valente's can play centre midfield up top. A bit more further forwards, rather. Uh, and yes, Wilfred Williams, 20, 30 appearances, 2 goals, 3 assists, 6.69. Not too bad. Uh, Jack uh, Yatek Zaya has been a new player, has been just promoted. I want him to develop. I want to be good. I think there is a player in here. Uh, we just have to get the best. And especially he's six foot four as a winger. It's exactly what we like. He's 16. I think if we give him like appearances off the bench and even just some like appearances just, you know, up front, um, he will probably develop quite nicely. And I'm hoping to have a good Polish player in the team. So he's here. Four, uh, four appearances, one goal, one assist already, which makes me very proud of him. We'll see how he does next season. And this is our uh, um, solution to right back is Aliu Adiemi, four star player already that came from the Youth Academy last season. And he has played 27 uh, times, four off the bench, one goal, four assists. 
Would have been rookie of the season. Although his average rating is a bit low. He gets a lot of yellows and reds. Because his tackling is a bit low. Um, we are training his physicals as well as his defensive position. Just making him a bit of a better defender. But mentally he's pretty good. Physically, like technically at this level he's he's a like doing well. He's only 16 years old still. And Ali Yodiyemi. I think we might he might be one of those we get a large fee. Uh, I'll sell him for upwards of probably... I don't even know... 250 maybe to 250 500k maybe i'll sell him for but uh, yeah i would I'd preferably i'd like to keep him his whole career because i think he'll be a starting fullback for the foreseeable future and he is um luckily uh why the switch luckily developing very nicely as you can see he's just been going up and up and up and i have trained him to play right back he has a very strong foot uh left foot and reasonable right foot so you can play both sides and that's what I've been uh, trying to drill into him. I will probably be offering him a new contract. Even let's do it right now to make sure he is not going anywhere. Let's give him um, a squad player. Would that be okay? Okay. Okay, fine. Regular starter. Just, just don't get angry. Three years, and then an optional extension of two years, of three years. Even so again, we're tying down for six. Uh, we'll try to get rid of the loyalty bonus just in case. Relegation release clause. Yeah, sure. If we, I mean, we we still could get relegated, but I think we've done so well that it's unlikely. So I'll I even lower it down to smoothen the deal yearly wage rise. Let's try it down to five percent promotion. If we get promoted, yeah, I'll give you all the money. We'll go pro if we get promoted. So four hundred, meet me three hundred, three seventy five, three two five. Okay, fine. We'll give him the money he wants because he will be our best player. Next, Beha Adli, as I said, I hate him. He's a smelly pan uh, punk. <laughs> Even know where that came from, but yeah, that's Beha. I don't like him. Morgan Bacon, one of our club legends. Um, his conceded to appearance ratio is terrible. But that's Morgan Bacon. Carl Baptiste, he's been um, picked out as a leading player from one of the youth academy intakes. I think it was tw yeah, 2024. Um, but he is definitely not developed into that and maybe there's a loan in his future because there are better players in the positions he wants to play and he's not that great on paper so i don't know it's going to be of car back say josh brazil uh was picked up by the fans as a player of the season uh he has developed quite nicely i don't know why there was a recent drop but he has gone up with his pace his jumping reach is not a 17 and it might even grow bigger four goals one assist he wins the headers he's got good anticipation he's good in the air his heading is only six which is a bit annoying but He's been he's been good, and he will be our starting centre back to win the headers against Ellis, who has already uh, begun uh, starting games uh, for us. Uh, Clark will get released. Christie we're looking to get rid of him, and he as he is not developing, he's causing problems. And he's quite frankly pissing me off. So you can go, Mark Clark. Contract's expiring. He's not great. He's 20 years old. No one wants him on loan. So he's gone. Uh, yeah, you, 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 Yuba Diara has come for this academy. He's going to be our backup cam. Looking at him, he's actually pretty good. Like crossing, dribbling, finishing, fast touch is good, passing is good, teamwork, good, like balance is actually a good personality for youth players. And yeah, he is one for the future. And he has already begun playing three games, no assists, no, no goals. Um, but yeah, next season he'll be a rotation option for Hansies. Uh, Isaac Duncan, one of those players what I'm willing to let go. He's just going to be an emergency backup uh, at centre-back, left-back and even right-back. Uh, but hopefully it won't come down to him starting. He's two stars. Uh, he's an ambitious, so I don't think he'll be a youth coach. He's near the end of his career. He's Well, he's 28, so not really. He probably can play for another five years, but we'll see if he wants to. Uh, Jacob Evans, another one that's going to get released. I thought he'll be a good rotation option. He had good pace. He's tall, um, but his performance is weren't really up to scratch and he he wasn't training well uh, and when i criticized him he was getting pissy so you can go i'm not gonna cry over you jacob evans uh george eze still one of our best players still gonna get appearances out right back oh sometimes even center back although his contract is expiring and i did forget i did offer him one but he got upset so i probably should tie him down in the future uh yeah three-year contract 650 that's a lot 500 maybe no loyalty bonus though Relegation release clause, sure. How do you feel about this? 650, 600 in three years. 600 three years. You must agree to three years. Well done, thank you. And that's as a 
tied down for the future. Billy Garwood. Uh, it's actually probably a bit better than Wilfred Williams, which I'm quite surprised by. He has been here from the first youth intake in 2023, uh, 20 years old now. Still making appearances, 126 in total. A great player. Unambitious, which we try to mentor out of him. We still are mentoring him, uh, but nothing's really changing. But he is going to be a good CDM, Segunda Volante. For the future, Billy Gordon, uh, he's still here. He doesn't get games, really. He's got nine this season, ten total. Uh, he's just there if there's suspensions, emergency backup really, and yeah, he's here for another year. Justin Green, as we said on loan. Emil Hansies, our best player at the club, uh, still developing and pretty nicely. His decisions are now 16, which I love. That is blue now that we have uh, developed that from I don't even know like 14 uh, to 16, and that's great to see. How, is he a veteran national? No, not yet. Still a South player, but um, a North, but. Emil Hansies this season, 33 appearances, 8 goals, 4 assists, a 6.69 average rating, which I think is a bit harsh, but he's even come for our youth academy, I thought he did, but he's from Harrogate, but he was signed before I got here, so he's allowed to be here, uh, and Emil Hansies is a great player for us, and he is tied down for another 3 years, big money though, so hopefully he lives up to it, John, John Hogan promoted as well, we'll make him a, I decided CDM, He's got good enough physicals, well, good enough, some physicals, good enough technicals and mentals to be a CDM, too small to be a centre-back. Uh, Joaquin Lasamba, free-kick specialist, 11 free-kick taken, he's been pretty good, 20, 33 appearances, 9 goals, 5 assists, one of our best developing players this season, up to 3 stars now, um, yeah, the facilities have really improved. Us, Jermaine Tansy has been actually picked up a terrible injury, still scoring goals, getting appearances, he was, he's still unhappy with me because I criticised his training too many times. Uh, I thought it might help him, but physically, still the guy. One bravery now, eight composure. He's, mm, yeah, he doesn't really grow, but he's got the potential. But he, he's good for this league. He broke his ribs recently, but he'll be fine for the next season. And he plays inside forward now with Lloyd up top. He's not got the crossing that I really want, but he's got the finishing and the pace. So he will start. The game's Lars Martin Larsen. He's actually been uh, called up for the Norway under 21s, which is quite surprising as I don't think he's that good. Uh, no offense to Martin, but I, I gave him some game time. And for the under 21s, he's actually not been playing terribly. 7.10. For us, uh, he's played 14 princes, 2 goals, 3 assists. So Martin's making some progress. Uh, Nicky Lillis has just been promoted. I don't know why his. Is everything red? But he's just been promoted. He's been played three games. He got a 6.50, which is not terrible for a 15 years old. For a 15 year old, I'm just hoping he grows in height. Maybe if he's like 5'11", 6 foot centre back, he would be so good. 13 jumping reach. I think that's literally just gone up from from 12 to 13. So uh, I'm pleased, and he will be playing all of our games next season. We are putting all our defensive hopes into Nicky, as he is uh, probably our best defender, except for Eze. Leo Lloyd, as we said, uh, 34 appearances, 19 goals, rookie of the season, came in before December, I think three games in December, and then in January he turned uh, 18, and yeah, he has been pretty good, 6 for 7 of course, developing his physicals, uh, and uh, he's been a bit of a monster, he's a nuisance for the defenders, and he just keeps growing, he's got a fairly sporting personality, who's not bad, his composure's gone up, his finishing's gone up. I'm just excited to see what could become of Leo Lloyd. I think he probably will get a player ability boost because he's still quite young. Uh, and yeah, that's Leo Lloyd. My third player so far, Luke Wilmot. We actually did promote him. 13 appearances, 22 concedes, not bad. Has developed a little bit. Uh, and he's a backup goalkeeper. And he will get more game time to just ease him in as... Uh, um, what's his name? Morgan Bacon is getting a bit older, but Luke Woman will slowly get eased in as he will be our starting goalkeeper after Morgan ends his career. Jack Oyak has been recovered, uh, and I think, yeah, that's the end of our squad. And to end off, we'll look at our facilities. Excellent junior coach, and we did get it bumped up. Youth facilities are also increased to just below average. Training facilities are adequate now, and the youth recruitment is still a bit low. Key player is Emil Hansi's hot prospect, Adli Adiemi, uh, and facilities, uh, no, sorry, vision, uh, going to the board. We are also improving our youth facilities yet again, so they should be adequate. So our next youth intake should be good, should be even better, and yeah, we are making good money, mainly from our cup runs. We are getting quite lucky. 
I don't know what it's about this save, but cup runs we are doing pretty well. Uh, I, I mean, the tactics are that when we play against the bigger clubs, they usually underestimate us. So they put in uh, also 250 for the transfer budget. It's crazy. Um, they they put up put like bad players, the youth players into their teams, and we put our best players, which are also youth, but our youth are more developed than theirs, and we tend to get good results. And we, I think this season uh, we even had. Um, Grimsby again in the youth uh, in the FA Cup, which was quite funny that we played them again. Uh, yeah, in the FA Cup first round, and to end off, we'll have a quick, the quickest of looks at our uh, stages, not stages, uh, pass positions. And well, this is how we'll end up on this screen to see how we started. Pretty well, got the the wins the beginning of the season. You well, well, a refined tactic, and then people figured it out, and it just fell off. And we finished on three losses uh, to end the season off, but we survived and that's what it's all about and yeah that's the end of the season review i think it's been a bit of a long one as i wanted to cover all our players and uh get over done but i think most players stay around for the youth intake anyways but if you're an ultra and you stay for the season review and you're interested in the players developments and all that stuff uh thank you for being here if you have any requests any advice about the videos about the save about the manager please let me know please do let, leave a comment i respond to everyone um and yeah and i just hope everyone is still enjoying the save uh and yeah thank you so much for all the support and and you know, just interactions and everything i'm very grateful uh i hope next video has like better vibes and energy as i hopefully will be feeling a bit better uh next video uh and i hope to see you in it uh and yeah that's that's the end of today bye